Ladies and gentlemen, James Harden is on pace, air quotes, on pace to return tonight versus the Houston Rockets. He also said to him, Houston is still home and he misses all of his favorite strip clubs and his favorite strippers. He did not say that last part. I made that up, but he said Houston is still home. He is on pace to return tonight versus the Houston Rockets, and he is officially listed as questionable. Do me a favor, hit the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. Here we get a quick little video of James Harden where he is most comfortable, which is the free throw line. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but here is James Harden getting up some free throws yesterday with my future Philadelphia 76ers head coach, Sam Cassell. There's Harden on, on the tip of the foot. Uh, you know, you can't really assess whether what the foot looks like here, but we're going to have to go ahead and trust the doctors that he's 100% if they're listening to him as questionable tonight. That tells me that his foot is feeling good. He's 100%, and we're going to get some James Harden tonight. Now, whether he... Whether or not he plays 30-plus uh, minutes tonight is up to one, the most psychotic basketball coach in the history of the game, Glenn Rivers. Uh, I would like, of course, James to come in on a minutes restriction, take it slow, and ease back in. But uh, Glenn doesn't ease into anything besides his 6 a.m. tip-off time. So we will see what happens. Now, there is a coalition of people on the internet, we'll call it a cult, of James Harden haters who are constantly, every single day, trying to convince us, those of us with working brains in our skulls, that the Philadelphia 76ers are better without James Harden. That is an absolutely ridiculous thing to think. And you are insane if you think that makes any sense in your mind. They say the Sixers move the ball better without James Harden because he dribbles too much. I've even had somebody say that James Harden hunts assists. Hunts assists. Which doesn't make any sense. He hunts his teammates to get them shots to help them score. Anyway... Let's just look at some numbers uh, for the Philadelphia 76ers with and without James Harden. So, of course, the pace is slightly slower with James Harden than without, and that's because he runs a lot of ISO and a lot of pick and roll, and the, it, it's just going to be more of a half-court game with James Harden. It's not going to be an up-tempo, end-to-end game with James Harden, and that's fine, especially for the playoffs when, when the game slows down and becomes more of a half-court game anyway. You know, with the Anthony Melton and Shake Milton, these guys running, running the team, you're going to have a faster pace because nobody's as lethal of an ISO scorer on this roster that James, as James Harden is. So you could just expect the pace to be higher without him, but that actually doesn't mean much. Here you go. The Philadelphia 76ers with James Harden and without. The pace slightly slower with. Points per game with James Harden, obviously higher. 110.4 to a 107 without James Harden. I mean, in the in the most literal sense of statistics, the team is better with James Harden. They score more points per game with James Harden. This is not rocket science. Their assists per game is higher by almost two assists per game. Oh, that's funny. They're better, and the ball movement is better without James Harden? Well, the stats show you that they have more assists per game with James Harden on the floor. They have less turnovers per game by three whole turnovers per game with James Harden on the floor. They have more field goals made with less field goals attempted per game, which equates to a higher overall field goal percentage per game with James Harden on the floor. They have high, almost two entire three-pointers made more with James Harden on the floor than without a 13.8 three-pointers made per game. They have more three-point attempts per game with James Harden on the floor. They have a much higher, much higher, much higher three-point percentage 
With James Harden on the floor, this team is shooting 41.2% from the three-point line. Without James Harden, air quotes, hunting assists, they are shooting 34.43% from the three-point line without James Harden because he just gets people open shots. Let's call it what it is. James Harden is averaging 22, 10, and 7 in nine games so far this season. That is an all-star point guard stat line. Let's look at James Harden in those nine games so far this season. Uh, game one against the Boston Celtics, he came up big time in a big time game. Joel Embiid struggled to start the season, and we had some other issues we're not going to talk about. Cough, cough, Glenn Rivers lineups, uh, backup center position, things like that. But James Harden, game one against the Boston Celtics, 35.7 assists and eight rebounds. Game two, another big game against the Milwaukee Bucks, a great defensive team. Boston, great defensive team. James Harden, who, who who should be underperforming against great defensive teams if he's washed, has 35, 7, and 8 against the Celtics, 31, 9, and 8 against the Milwaukee Bucks. We had a stinker in San Antonio. We know that. We're not going to talk about that. Uh, against the Indiana Pacers, James Harden, 29 points, 11 assists, and 9 rebounds. 18, 9, and 7 against Toronto. 11, 4, and 4 against Toronto in a dub. Uh, 15, 11, and 6 against Chicago. 23 points, 17 assists, and 7 rebounds in a win at Washington. And 24 points, 10 assists, and 5 rebounds in a loss at Washington. Uh, James Harden has been great, great, great so far this season. Outside of a couple stinkers, but great so far this season. Shout out to Harrison Grimm on Twitter. If you're not following, go follow. Nobody missed James Harden more than P.J. Tucker. P.J. Tucker with Harden, 6.2 points per game, 4.1 field goal attempts per game at 59.5% from the floor and 52.6% from the three-point line. P.J. Tucker without James Harden, 1.7 points per game. 2.3 field goal attempts per game, 28% from the field, and 27.8% from the three-point line for P.J. Tucker. I am so sick of seeing P.J. Tucker pass up wide open threes. I'm sick of him being open, pump faking, dribbling, pump faking again, and passing the ball. But my goodness, P.J. Tucker's just game completely disappeared when Harden went out with that foot injury uh, I, it's actually astonishing. 6.2 points per game, 1.7 when Harden goes out with the injury. P.J. Tucker has been downright atrocious. Uh, so, you know, we should see P.J. Tucker get back to his normal self, I would think, and his comfort level uh, with James Harden on the floor. Without James Harden, P.J., you should still be shooting wide open shots. I don't know, but, but he just, you know, he just seems... A little bit uncomfortable in the offense without James Harden, and he's getting put in weird positions without having a, a real facilitating point guard at the helm. He ends up at the elbow shooting shot put floaters and things like that. So we should see P.J. Tucker get back to business when James Harden's back on the floor. And last but not least, Joel Embiid with James Harden. Even though Keith Pompey claims that they don't fit together, Joel Embiid has averaged 31.8 points per game, 12 rebounds, 3.5 assists in 27 games with James Harden in his career. And that was a relatively unhealthy James Harden uh, in the second half of last season. This season, Joel Embiid with James Harden, 26-15, uh, 15-12, 40 and 13, 26 and 5, 31 and 5, 25 and 7. And, you know, the pace uh, of Joel Embiid playing with James Harden uh, continues to rise as he continues to be more of a screen setting, rolling, or screening and popping center versus a post up ISO. Uh, scorer, I think Joel Embiid is, is more comfortable getting quicker shots with James Harden, and James Harden just straight up gets Joel Embiid easier buckets, period. So James is back tonight, hopefully. He's questionable. He said he is on pace to be back tonight. So hopefully, for the sake of all of us, 
We get to see James Harden and Joel Embiid on the floor together tonight in Houston. Uh, and Tyrese Maxey still out with the foot. But we're getting close. We're getting close to our team being back. So let's go, man. Hit the like button on the video. Subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. Go listen to the podcast. Love you guys. See you on the next one.